Welcome in CACPHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how to create date to date uh, search in CACPHP. So, to start this tutorial, I already uh, generated my layout using CACBAC command. I think you already know how to uh, generate this template using CACBAC command. If you don't know, then see my video uh, description. I already added a link. Uh, uh, by this uh, tutorial, you will uh, know how to create. Uh, basic template using cagback command so if you know how to create this template uh, or view using cagback uh, then we can go for the next step so first step will be we have to add two fields in here one is for the start fields and another for in field so for create this fields I'm just going to my project folder my project folder name is CAC3 and here is a folder called SRC and there is a template folder and in this template folder there is a uh, folder called tags and in this tags there is a file called index.ctp this index.ctp actually you are seeing in here so in this index.ctp uh, in the above of this table that means table tag I'm just going to create my from and add it to fields to send my request to view to controller so I'm just going to create uh, my from here so just typing this from create so you know this from is a cacphp helper so we can create a from using this from create create is a method so I've just started my from in here so here I'm going to give a parameter called text this is the action and uh, another thing that I am going to add this called type that means I am sending my request to get method so I'm just going to type equal get and second thing that I'm going to add in here I'm just going to finish my uh, from so here I'm just typing this from int so after f uh, finished my from and start my from I'm just add going to add to field uh, here first field will be uh, start field so I'm going to type this from and there is a method in uh, cat pitch we call control and this control in this control I'm going to add the uh, field name so my field name will be first name first uh, sorry start date start date uh, and the second field will be in date and then I'm going to add a button in here and giving the name of the button search and if you see if you save everything if you see it in a browser you will see two field has been created a start date and in date and there is a uh, there is a button called search then our next step will be we have to add a date picker for my start date and the in date field so how can we add this date picker we, I'm using here jQuery UI jQuery UI date picker for my uh, for this tutorial so I've given this link under under the video description so you just uh, click on this link and go in here and I'm going to just uh, add this uh, calendar in my uh, in my start date and in date field so so for that I'm just going to at first add my CDN so there is a jQuery CDN uh, so we have to add jQuery and also we have to use uh, jQuery UIJS so I'm just uh, copying uh, both the uh, link from here and just paste it in my uh, default layout so we are using here a cac page for default layout and this layout file is in in my layout folder there is a file called default.ctp in the default.ctp uh, after the icon I'm just uh, paste this to link so after save it I'm going to uh, take another CSS file that means jQuery UI CSS file I'm just copying this jQuery UI file from here and paste it uh, in top of the script and going to add here HTTP and colon this is HTTPS and colon 
so after save everything now we will add our jquery date picker in this uh, two fields so for add this date picker i'm going to add a class in my in my corner in my fields so here i'm going to create a class called date picker date picker and i'm going to copy this uh, line and paste it for my in date so the next thing we have to do we have to just add uh, the jquery for get this uh, uh, date picker so I'm just copy this line to this line and just paste it in here and if we save everything it will not work because you can see this this date picker is actually ID so I have to change it and add the uh, uh, period for uh, class because I just added here the name of my class is date picker this date picker actually is a class so after save everything if we see the output if I go in here and just reload my page and uh, hit on here we will see a date picker in here so now we can just add our date picker for this two uh, field so another thing we can add we can um, change this uh, format I'm just I just want to change this format that means the date format so you can see this format is uh, using slash slash but in our database we you can see this date format is like this so I'm just going to change my format in here so how we, how we can change our format to change this format we have to add a second braces in here or curly braces and then I'm going to add this uh, uh, you can see the example in here uh, if you see the view source and here is the format date so if you click on this link you will see the how they uh, maintain their format so I'm just going to copy this line that means yymmdd I'm just copy it and add this format uh, this is the parameter date format that we have to send so I'm just typing this date format and colon and then send to yymmdd okay just like that so this is my date format and this is the yymmdd I'm just I just want to see my date format look like that so after save everything if we see if you just reload your page and now if you see the date and click on date you can see the format has been changed so if you want to add the um, year change of or day change or month change that you also can do it so if you go in here and um, uh, if you see in here display month and year menus if you want to see the year menus so you have to add the change month to and the year change year to I'm just going to copy this both line and just going to paste it after this uh, line and paste change month through and change year through so after save everything if we see again in here if we just I reload my page again and if we click on here you can see the month now you are able to change your month and also able to change your year so I already uh, we already created two fields with date picker so we will submit this date using get for using get method so after if you just uh, try to click in here we will see this date has been uh, submitted by uh, get method but the problem is uh, it is not staying here that means uh, as a value I always want to see after submit uh, the uh, the date will be remain in here so how we can add this so we know that this uh, data we have submitted using get method so it is in our URL you, we, we are seeing in here this it, it is in our URL so what I'm going to do I'm just uh, add a value field in here so in my input field I'm just going to add a value field so I'm going to value and then as a value 
I'm just adding this request query. I'm just uh, accepting request query string and my query string name is start date. So this is my query string. I'm just grabbing it from here. Oops. Start date. And then going to copy this value field from here and uh, paste it in here. And adding this in field. So if we uh, submit it again, we will see Now I am just typing and uh, taking two fields uh, from for start date and end date. If I just uh, submit the search, we'll see that this uh, uh, data or this value uh, still remain after the request send. So, so we successfully added date picker in our two field for start date and end date, uh, and rest of the part uh, in controller. Uh, I'm going to uh, see you in next tutorial. Uh, next tutorial link has been given under uh, under the video description. So let's see the next tutorial to execute uh, uh, everything in controller. So thank you for watching. Welcome for the next tutorial.